animals be not on this planet for human consumption. Just like women be not on this planet for men to be raped. And children be not on this planet for, for parents to be abused. Or uh, for their anger problems or something like that. They're being for themselves on this planet. It is not your right based on your traditions, your beliefs and your habits to deny other living beings their freedom. Live by the do what you want as long as it don't harm somebody else. And animals can be, qual can be qualified as somebody else no matter how you look to it. If you say that they're being inte not intelligent or that you be that you're being not self-aware, if they can locate water to drink, if they can hide one or not want to be seen, if they can build homes, uh, if they can run away, if somebody attack them, they defend themselves in the fence. And even in 2012, a group of uh, neuroscientists have proved for good that animal and human consciousness being the same. So, animals being conscious. Of course, I mean, anybody with a bit of logic can understand it. So why make always excuses, people? We have done it over and over again. Can we not go to the play and say that any living being deserves their ego rights? We have done it with, with blacks, we have done it with, with women, we have done it with animals and other living beings. Can we not say that any living being deserves their ego rights, deserves to, to live the way they want? That's what veganism is in a sense of being. Respect the life of other living beings. Animal rights and veganism is one and the same. It's one and the same. Plant-based is, oh, is only in diet. Veganism is far more than that. A veganism is about other living beings. There's no... Reason, no rational reason to deny one sentient being their freedom, their rights that they have from the, of the day that they've been born. Universal compassion to any living being is the only guarantee of morality. It's a great philosophy. Thou shalt not kill. Live for once by that rule. Since nobody wants to be murdered, and also another, so where I actually where I talk about. Do to others just like you want their freedom to you. Nobody wants to be raped, nobody wants to be abused, nobody wants to be tortured. So it is more than logical to become vegan. What's the excuse for not costing harm? or casting the least amount of harm to other living beings. Always go vegan. Any day, there being a part of rainforest cut with the size of New York City. Some, most of that is for, for ground to feed um, cows for our meat consumption. It caused a lot of problems to the nature to nature. And we don't need meat to survive. It might no sense. All the bullshit propaganda from uh, protein, clothing. It is impossible to get to the last protein. You don't can even do it if you want. The human body only needs an extremely 
small amount of protein. Extremely little bit. You don't need more protein if you want to uh, build muscle. You only need to eat more food and you have to exercise more. Humanity prays for mercy, but when humanity is not willing to extend rights to other living beings, where humanity is so then deserve rights, to believe what you want, but it is not your rights, based on your traditions, your beliefs and your habits, to deny other animals their freedom, so that you can harm them, slave them. Rape them, turn them on objects like property and entertainment. That's not what rights are about. That's injustice. And if I have, hopefully, show you this time now. There is no excuse to veganism. I've been vegan for around something like 12 years. No deficiency because animal products give you no single vitamins that you don't can find in uh, vegan products and plants. There's a loophole. Awaken from the bullshit, people. Awaken from the propaganda. Awaken from the slander from the meat, dairy, and egg industry and our psycho cult. Awaken from the matrix. So I say this now. Will me inch. We have treated our cousins in fur and feather so horribly that without one doubt, if they ever formulate a religion, they will pick the devil in human form. This break my heart the day I wrote it, and it still breaks my heart today. Because they must see us like devils. And I won't want to be a devil. To innocent beings that have nothing harmed me once in their whole life. Want you to be a devil to innocent living beings that have nothing harmed you once in your whole life? And I think you've been a sick psycho. If you truly want that. Think occasion on the suffering where you spare yourself the sight. Because I can understand that nobody sees themselves like a criminal. But that you see yourself not like a criminal and you be not a criminal is something totally different. Awaken humanity. One kind of inequality will always create another kind of inequality. Universal compassion to any living being can only create Compassion. And compassion can be not be used in one evil way. In one in one feelings way. Compassion cannot be misused. Awaken. Awaken and choose the side of the victim, instead to choose the side of the victimizer. If my father was a serial killer, I say just, I don't want to support my father anymore. If my father was a slaughterhouse worker, I also don't support him. If my father was, an, was a rapist, or my mother was a rapist, or my siblings were rapists, I don't support them anymore. 
if no matter if they rape cows, chickens, dogs, cats, horses. Get your point and your vision straight, please. Step in the reality. Make a plea and move forwards.